came in as an OTI, so she w she came from a home that we know that she was with, you know, her family, and now she's at, sh she's at the shelter, so she's really nervous. She's been kind of shy back there, so. You kind of have to work with ones that come in when they're really scared. If you get into the cage with them, given, you know, that you feel comfortable that they're not gonna bite or anything, you kind of just kind of gotta talk slow with them and quiet and pet them and make sure that, you know, they know that they're okay. We first come in, we clean and make sure, you know, kennel cough's really bad, so we have to don everything and bleach everything. And then after that, we let them back in, and then we would start feeding them. And then we do a bed check to make sure that they're all still here <laughs> and in the right spot. And then we do vaccinations and temperament testing and heartworm drawing and all of that. However they come to us, they're put in our quarantine building initially. Um, whether they're brought in by animal control or they're found by a stranger on the street um, or whether an owner turns them in. We keep them initially in our A building or quarantine building um, for a variety of reasons. It gives an opportunity for whoever may have lost that dog to come forward for them. Um, it gives an owner who's turning that dog in at least 24 hours to uh, change their mind if they wish to do that. And then once it gets past that stage, they go through the temperament testing um, and exam that our uh, certified vet techs do uh, and do so well um, before they're put up for adoption.